making standard is just writing the frequency on the title of the song so you know what tone you are so you'll be able to have some type of reference for oh i felt like this when i listened to that it's like vitamins it says it on the label i'm major a musician and producer my mission is to bring sound healing and intentional frequency into the mainstream. You two have been collaborating for such a long time. Talk about how this conversation actually began. Major and I, you know, our backstory is uh, pretty incredible. We uh, met at a time when, you know, he was absolutely killing it as a just, you know, music producer in the world of pop and hip hop. He was working with Justin Bieber and I was uh, sort of on the tail end of my journey as a jingle man, jingle Jared. And met him, I was pretty uh, drunk at a bar and I didn't know who I was talking to. And it turned out it was Justin Bieber who in that moment introduced me to Major. And he was like, I bet you guys would get along. You know, Jared, you know, I was telling him about all the jingles I do and Major, I was learning all about how he was this like protege from the time he was like in his college dorm getting, you know, platinum records on the wall when he was not even out of school yet. And he came over into our world and, you know, we both kind of wanted to be doing what the other one was doing. And really the next part of the journey has to do with Major's transformation. I met Jared in a time, like he says, when I was just producing um, a lot of music for mainstream artists. And I was going through a process being a, a cancer survivor. I hadn't yet told him, but just in the process of learning about many ways to heal. And I was grateful for it, but I was also looking ways to just increase wellness. And as I got into like um, the yoga and spiritual communities, I started hearing about people using sound as a potential way to heal, to heal or for helping with wellness. And I had never connect to anything like that. And I had a friend who was a monk who told me about how mantras were frequencies designed to change their state of consciousness. And so I started understanding like, wait a minute, there's some connection there. You know, I slowly started the process of putting that into my music and, you know, my world just as in, in the, you know, I want to say the mainstream music world, they, uh, you know, it was a very new concept and idea. So I think when Jared heard about Amazon and Audible wanted to, you know, make uh, wellness and music based content he naturally thought of me and came came to me and I was just you know it was a perfect match because the story I was telling aligned exactly with the space they wanted to go into the series actually it's you know it's going to cover 10 different locations going from Peru Detroit you know Malibu even as far as Egypt like talk about finding those locations and why the location is also important. Each location represents a location that I took along the journey of discovering and learning about the power of sound to heal. So connecting all the dots. And so there's even more uh, places to tell, you know, stories and, and things to tell, but we just chose the first 10 that we felt, um, you know, led up to where we are now. Along the way, as we were creating uh, original music for this thing, I stopped at one point and I said, you know, music kind of is like, it's like magic. It's sort of like the God particle. Like no one understands how it really works. Like I take for granted the fact that I make music every day for work and that somehow this invented thing that just exists in the universe, you can pay your bills with it. You can build a house with it. You can, if you're, you know, Justin Bieber have a plane and fly around the world in it. And it is magic on its, you know, surface level. But what Major has done is almost like giving me a black belt and next level knowledge of actually some awareness and critical listening. You know, for many people, I think what they'll discover is it's just a really cool thing to listen to. And it's pretty relaxing and it sets you intentions and puts you in a great headspace and educates you. But I think if people are really listening closely, there's actually a much bigger curriculum that Major has set forth that I think unlocks a series of bigger either live events, uh, more sequels and conversations about how it spider webs out. But I got to say, like our reaction to it, seeing it come together, our partners at Audible, it's for some reason, like this has just been executed really, really well from Major's side, you know, the way he worked with our production team and from the Audible side, how it's being marketed. And I actually, I, this is the most excited I've been for a project launch in a very, very long time. I have to give credit to Jeff Peters, who was a big part of our team. Um, and each location and sprinkled throughout the podcast and each one of the songs you'll hear, uh, he had an HD field recordings of each location that we went to and he would capture the audio 
And he actually was able to use that to build the synthesis for the keyboards and a lot of the instruments that we're playing. So they're actually based upon the natural audio of, of nature in all of these different locations. I remember my frame of mind actually changed between day one and day three of us recording. And I, I just felt like I was in some bizarre, relaxed, you know, lucid state. And I cannot attribute that to really anything else other than just the alchemy of what he was, you know, explaining and, and showing us. This is a way that artists will be telling stories in the future. You know, the whole premise of our new business at Audio Up is really unlocking music through storytelling. This is so unique that actually I have a hard time explaining it to our partners and our investors because like, is it a book? Well, not really. Is it a podcast? Well, not really. Is it an album? Not really. Like it's everything. It's using the things that are available in front of you. It would be like trying to describe what a music video is in 1972 to somebody being like, in the future, you're not just going to have to make the song, but you're going to have to make, you know, this Michael Jackson style video where, you know, you're entertaining people and it holds people's attention and they can discover your music through it. So Audible, you know, I think has really put in motion a unique proposition for people like Major who also live between two worlds. He's a personal brand and a creator of music for other people and he's an artist. So, I mean, this to me seems like a really interesting, unique, you know, uh, universe of Major that is, we're at day one here and where it goes is, you know, anyone's guess. Thank you.